what the actual f Yo, I'm Scotty Mills, New York, getting me a prick, and today I want to rant, okay? I don't know if it's going to have a f point or whatever, but we're, we're going to find out. Now, I want to rant about the border and about these three women who apparently keep on popping up, and they're, they're running for Congress and shit like that. But first, if you like this, like it. If you don't, don't like it. Comment if you love it. Comment if you hate it. Share it, even if you think I'm an ignorant, arrogant prick. Because this is what I do. I just rant. I see what the f*** happens when I say shit, and it's kind of entertaining to me, so three Republican women who are running for Congress. Apparently they're uh, wives of like border patrol agents. I don't know. Okay, I, I hate watching the mainstream media, okay? And I hate like reading the f***ing Fox and CNN and CBS and all this other shit. I hate social media. But you know what? That's kind of how I just get the headlines and I start looking into shit. But it kind of made me laugh, okay? Because th a few months ago, I found this article about these women, okay? And basically it made me laugh because there are people out there, liberals, who are mad that Hispanic women are Republicans. Much like they want a secure border. Okay, it really makes me f I decided to look these women up, and of course, obviously the CNN article, it was an opinion article, and yeah, you're allowed to have your opinions, I mean, I got my own opinions that I'm giving right now, but, now this was written in July, okay, and basically, they said that they weren't real Latino women, because they didn't apparently agree with, or, or they didn't support the Latino community, and, and their beliefs of, you know, like, um, actually, I have no idea, I don't understand how they can just lump everybody together, okay, and say you're not actually part of a community because you don't have beliefs that they want. It makes no f***ing sense. I mean, they're so divisive. And that's that's what they do, okay? That's what the media does. They divide, all right, man? They divide like a mother So, I mean, so if you're Latina and you want a secure border or restriction on abortion, shit like that, which I could dive deep into again, but not today, then you aren't a real Latina. They say the border thing is also not real. Well, it is. Now, look, I don't know if the racist white power group of the GOP isn't paying these women off by allowing them to have the freedoms that only white people like me would have in order to support their agenda of having a secure border. I, I can't say that's not true. I mean, it's very possible. See, here's what's going on in America, okay? Just like everything else in this video, it's my opinion, okay, accompanied by some fact. And fact check me, fact check the media. Honestly, if you rely on them to get your news and you're a piece of shit and you're an idiot. But this is what's happening, okay? Plain and simple. The border's open. The left wants that. The left doesn't want to take responsibility, and also the left does not want to help out goddamn Americans. Now, I'm fucking saying that the right is our goddamn savior. I mean, the left versus right bullshit, man, in the goddamn media and in the world right now is just so fucking played out. But I will comfortably admit and say with fact, liberals and Dems do not want to fucking help you. They don't want to help anybody. All they give a shit about is being inclusive and diverse and really getting the votes of the people of color so that way they can rope you in, take you under their wing, shower you with fucking shitty benefits from trash policies to healthcare, welfare, education that they pump into you with their own goddamn agenda instead of pure just learning materials and then they own you they fucking own you they will have the power the dems love the federal power that's why i can't stand democrats or the fucking left I, I i don't like when the government has all this fucking power that's why when it came to the abortion thing man i really believe it should be up to the fucking states if they actually gave a shit about what the people in america would want right now we would not be having all this bullshit going on but see you know they take like like you know like uh, the immigration system right now, or not system, I should say, the uh, immigration situation, okay, about having an open border, they they believe, or they say, that everybody wants to have a more open border, they want people coming, it's not true, I mean, we can't even take care of ourselves right now, they always, like, base it on, like, a small group of people, okay, like, kind of like the radical f***ing left, it's not that big, okay, there's, <laughs> there's more normal people in America than stupid f***ing SJW f***ing liberals, but, you know, they, the, the media actually makes it look like it's so many people, anyway, let's stay on so there are these Latino women, okay, and they see what's going on in the border towns, and it's just a fact. I mean, even a man documented on camera people coming across his goddamn farm. People broke into this, uh, another dude's house, or maybe it was the same, but they broke into this dude's dad's house or some shit like that. These people don't have a place to go. I mean, <laughs> they're nomads right now. But you know, the, the government is telling, like, oh, we're gonna take care of you. And honestly, it's only sanctuary cities that really do that type of shit. And that's why DeSantis sent them to Martha's Vineyard. That was funny though and no you know what people say that was humiliating degrading it really wasn't i mean how how is it wrong okay if if you know for a fact that you are not a sanctuary place and you send somebody to a sanctuary place how come the left gets mad at that i mean they said that they will take care of people and once again they don't take care of people but anyway back to this dude you know people walking on a farm and some shit like that but you know these people came over they probably got released or maybe they were they were just coming over and the border patrol didn't even see them i don't no, but he didn't he just documented them walking across right i mean if that is his property why can't he just take them off of his property if it's federal property why are these people not getting detained how come they actually let people get through without going through the proper channels i don't understand it and you know what they don't want to fix it and that's the goddamn truth 
Now, man, look, I love immigration. I mean, if it wasn't for immigration, America would not be what it is. But the problem is you need legal immigration. And you know what really pisses me off is that people that's been here and, and they just they, they still have not gotten any kind of paperwork through or anything, even though they're f trying, because the government doesn't want that, okay? The government doesn't give a shit about you. Left or f right. Honestly, it's true. All, right? all they give a shit about is being like in this world power view, man. They, they want to be the best, right? Competing with like China and shit like that. Stupid f commie bastards. So, of course, you know, like Kamala Harris, man, she, her and Biden, the whole admin, man, they basically said, hey, come over here. We will take care of you. You know, they're trying to help people from Venezuela and shit like that. But honestly, why is it our problem? I mean, we can't even take care of our f***ing self right now. I mean, have you been to f***ing California? Los Angeles, complete shit. But, you know, like they really did, man. They said, like, oh, we will take care of you. And honestly, what are they doing to do that? I mean, all they really want right now, and, and this is maybe my opinion, but you know what, pretty much what I see going on, all they want okay, is to promise people benefits and have you rely on them so that way they stay in control. I mean, it's a power play, bro, and it's despicable. It's disgusting. Does any of what I'm saying make sense? I don't know. Sometimes my brain just goes so fast and I just blurt shit out and it just happens to be whatever the I say. But they, 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 they tell people to come over here, okay, and then they walk back to their statements. They say, don't come, but they, they tell people to come. People come, okay, and then they get released. They fend for themselves. I mean, these mother. I've been sleeping in a goddamn parking lot of McDonald's and motels and shit like that. And they don't want to f***ing help, man. They, they, they say that there's not an issue, but there is. That's the thing, man. They just release. That's why, <laughs> once again, that's why DeSantis flew those mother over there. And it was making a statement, okay? That's all it was. It was, it was proving that we have an issue. But, you know, if the left is really okay with just people sleeping in the goddamn parking lot and on a curb of a f***ing Arby's, then, you know what? I guess we should just leave them alone. Just let them do whatever the they want because honestly they don't give a shit about the american people or what we have to say and the part about that is is people came here and fought to get their goddamn citizenship thought they were going to have a say in democracy and what do they get they get nothing and that's kind of like what these women man i mean i don't understand how you can target a certain community and just like pit them against each other no hold up i'm saying that wrong hold on i don't understand how the left and the right can take this latino community and use them like a prize it is f***ing degrading and disgusting the fact that they fight to get who gets the most votes from a certain community whether it's you know hispanic black uh, asian it doesn't f***ing matter it's disgusting but you know what that's america and you know what the left and the right they don't want to talk about that no that's actual racism to me i mean maybe i'm just a f***ing idiot i'm just some yo schmo f***ing sucker and these women man they, they see what's going on though okay they see and it, it, they're part of the problem too a little bit you know they're looking to get the most votes of a certain community. I, I'm just sick of it, man. But anyway, but they see what's going on. Okay, break, people breaking in the stores. Okay, people robbing shit. People degrade or f up other people's property. Okay, it's happening. And guess what? I don't think they're going to do a goddamn thing to fix it. I really don't. It has nothing to do with them. Okay, it has nothing to do with them. It has to do with the fact that until we have a cooperative government where everybody actually pitches in and actually tries to fix problems, we're just going to be having the same recycled bullshit. I mean, look, it's really f***ed up that, yes, you know, throughout history, we have had upticks and downticks in f immigration. It, it, it happens, right? But you can't even go on social media right now without seeing something about it. And you don't even have to follow politics. It just happens to come across your f***ing feed. That shows you there's a f***ing issue. And it definitely won't get f***ing fixed until f***ing liberals and shit like Gavin Newsom f***ing stop doing what the f they're doing. I mean, for f***ing sake, California is a pit of f***ing dog shit and he's out there giving free ids to people even if they aren't legal legal i mean essentially allowing them to take advantage of taxpayer funded benefits and shit like that while the streets are full of users gangs and homeless people that'll stab you with a rust and butter knife before the police even lock them up for shitting on the wall down a block it's disgusting how do i know this i watched la go down the hill and you know what they also said that you know now like street vendors and shit they can have an easier time to get you know uh permits and shit like that even if you aren't legal and i mean don't get me wrong man. i love street vendors out there i think they're awesome but I find an issue with the fact people do not want to help other people become citizenized. They want to keep you on the system. Tom McDonald always says it best. Look it up. The f song of the system. I mean, he. it's true, man. But off topic real quick, uh, I wonder how much foreign business actually operates in California. It, that's the thing also I hate. I hate the fact that we can't bring all business back to America where it belongs. I mean, at least American business. We let these foreign entities buy out American companies because people are greedy. And honestly, the only con to capitalism is allowing Europe and Asia and all these other places to come in and swoop up our own shit. That is the only thing I can stand. But you know, with increased immigration, less American business, lower job rates, high taxes and inflation, blah, 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 blah. You probably hear it all the goddamn time from somebody. You would think it's a bad idea to let more people in right now, right? Why can't we just close it? Close the border, 
fix our own issues, especially the f***ing high homeless rates, and then we'll be good to go. And we can actually help people come back or come in and, you know, get citizenized and honestly live the f***ing dream. Right now, it's nightmaric. I mean, that's the truth. You know, according to this one website, FWD or forward.us, okay, it's actually better to have more rising immigration, okay, ri uh, rising immigration and shit like that, and, and it's actually... <laughs> It's actually better if they're family units instead of people with degrees and trade or, you know, experience and like work and shit like that. If you're, if you're more experienced and you actually have something to contribute to society, they say that actually affects America more negatively than people who are just coming over here. Um, at least that's what I understood from it. Maybe I'm a stupid idiot. I possibly, it's very possible, but that makes no f***ing sense. But they say that this will raise our economy. Come over here with a family with no background of anything. You're contributing to the economy. You work some dead-end job. You spend your money on big f business shit like Nike, Reebok, McDonald's. You know, all this big shit that, honestly, a lot of foreign entities got their hands in. Once again, Europe, China, all that shit. And then that's how you boost the economy. Okay, and I just don't understand that. But, you know, the whole article, what I really took from it, okay? And you can look it up, forward.us or some shit like that. It was about immigration. Um, basically saying we need to be the biggest power. And when we have more people, we win. I mean, that's pretty much it. And you know what? It, it's really funny that I, I saw that. And it's an older article. I think it's about a year ago or some shit like that. But they, they say that when we do have more people, we become, you know, more of a competitor to like China and shit like that. And that's why Nancy Pelosi, bro. Okay, she said today or yesterday, I don't know, one of these days. She said that Florida has to keep the immigrants because... Uh, we got these jobs that people don't want to take, and we need immigrants to take those jobs. And she used, like, farming as an example. She actually said we should be having them picking crops. What the actual f I mean, dude, it, 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 right there, okay, that proves this whole f point that all they give a shit about is this power grab, man. Do you really think anybody here gives a shit about you, about me, about anybody in this f country? No, they don't. Okay, all they give a shit about is f measuring contests with China and Russia. But nah, man, that's they, that's why they want the border open, okay? They won't admit that. They just won't say it. They want this f***ing power. Anyway, back to, like, what I was saying about these three women. I know they sparked, like, my whole f***ing pissing off f***ing rant, and I didn't really touch on them too much, and honestly, I don't really f***ing have to. I mean, this is just rant. I, like I said, I see what the f*** happens. But these women, they're deemed not real Latina by mainstream media. Okay, that's racist. Nancy Pelosi, she's pretty f***ing racist. I mean, honestly... If we just get rid of most liberals, I mean greedy liberals, social liberals, all liberals, then I'd say we're probably off to a better f start in this goddamn country. But until that happens, then we're f we're, we're just completely f And that's it. That's all I really f got. You know, next, uh, next video I'm going to do is about music videos and how I honestly feel about a certain person and a certain team. I really want to know, and I'm going to be asked a question, does Nova Rockefeller, the girlfriend of Tom McDonald, uh, does she even f matter?